Who remembers the German Packaging Act? I did some videos on it about a year ago and I've been testing it for the last 12 months and I've got some results for you. Was it worth buying a license? How much did it cost? And how many sales have I had from it? Welcome back everybody, thank you for joining me. And um, I'm a full-time reseller, just in case you didn't know. And if you're new here, you might not have seen the original videos that I did about a year ago, all about the brand new German Packaging Act. This act that has been brought in by Germany, all about recycling packaging that comes into the country. Um, so basically, I'm going to give you a very, very quick overview. If you want to go and into detail, please go back and look at those videos that I put on YouTube about a year ago. So if you're a business seller, not a personal, personal seller is fine. If you are a business seller on eBay and any other platform, doesn't just apply to eBay, um, and you want to sell items to people who live in Germany, you need to get a license, which does cost money, and you need to register on the Lucid database. Um, so there's two things you've got to do. Many people have not bothered doing that. And some of those people have just carried on selling into Germany. And some people have just blocked Germany and said, I'm not going to take the risk. I don't want to pay the fee. And therefore, I'm not going to sell to Germany anymore. Now, me personally, eBay and reselling is my full time job. That is what I do for a living. I can't afford for eBay to shut me down or close my shop. That would be disastrous for me. So I always play by the rules. So I played by the rules on this occasion and um, I uh, signed up for a license to sell my products through to Germany via GSP. And yes, you still have to get the license if you use GSP. GSP does not cover it for you. And what that license is for, that basically tells the German authorities how much packaging you're sending with your item into their country. And then they allegedly use that money to recycle that packaging. It's it's the rules. I don't write them. This is what it is. Whether you believe that that's what they do with it or not is another video. So how much did the license cost me? It cost me, uh, I think it was about 35 euros, which at the time was about 30 pound. That license was for a year. So all of 23, I was licensed to send in products from eBay through to Germany via GSP because I only use GSP. I don't use my own international shipping. Um, and I've got some results for you. So I've been keeping track of all my sales to Germany over the last 12 months, which is all of 2023. And I've kept a little note. So this video is technically 12 months in the making. And it's quite nice to do a follow-up because quite often we don't even get the chance to do a follow-up video on things. But this time I have. And um, I've got a, li uh, a list of all my sales and I've got a total of what I sold to Germany. So my total sales to Germany via GSP for 2023 after registering um, for the German Packaging Act and going on the Lucid Register um, was 1099 pound that was actually more than i was probably expecting to sell into germany that year or for most years i was thinking a few hundred quid but actually it soon adds up 1099 pound now the license itself cost me 30 pound so 30 pound out of 1099 as a percentage means that it cost me about 2.73% of my income from sales to Germany by just paying for the license. So for me, bit of a no-brainer. Just pay up and don't worry about whether your account's going to get in trouble, whether you're going to get a bill from German authorities or a fine. You don't have to worry about that. For the sake of 30 quid... I got £1,099 worth of sales. That's worth it. So a lot of you decided that you were either going to carry on selling into Germany and say nothing. Some of you just put yourself on the Lucid Register 
and didn't bother getting a license. That, for me, is a, ri a bit risky. That is, you might as well not bother with the whole thing. Um, and, yeah, some of you blocked Germany and decided not to sell into Germany. Now, everybody's decisions are their own to make. My decision was I still wanted to sell to Germany, so I paid up the 30 quid and uh, I made £1,099 worth of sales. There's still fees to come off that. There's still other costs to come off that. So that's just the gross amount of sales. Now then, here's the thing. I'm obviously going to register again this year, and I have just registered again for 2024. But the company I used first was eBay's um, recommended company, which is a company called Lizenzero. And if you remember, they came on and explained to everybody on a live show about a year ago how the whole system works and how you register and stuff like that. So I just went along and registered with them. Um, but after doing some research, there are other companies that you can register with. That is not the only company. So I found a company called, uh, let me just bring it up. I found a company called Activate by Reclay. So, yeah, if you just search Reclay, R-E-C-L-A-Y, and it's Activate by Reclay, um, you can register with them. Um, put the same amounts of packaging in as Liz and Zero and actually get a cheaper price. So I've just registered with Reclay. It's cost me 12 euros, which is considerably less. It's three times, it's a third. Cha ching It's a third of what Liz and Zero were charging, which was like 35 euros, which was about 30 pound at the time. So this was 12-ish euros. And it works out about £11, I think. If the That's what I got charged by my bank anyway. About £11, roughly. Give or take a few pence. So, let's assume that I can do £1,099 again this year in 2024 on uh, Germany sales via GSP. Now, if we make that assumption, which I think it's fair. I think it's fair to say we could do a similar amount. Um, that works out at just 1% of your sales. The cost of getting that license for 12 euros, which is £11 for a whole year, for me is an absolute no-brainer. You can put, once you've registered on the Lucid database and paid up, you can put that number into your eBay account. eBay then know that you are registered. They will not cause you any trouble. Uh, they will not shut your account down. I'm not saying that they will anyway, but I'm just saying that once you've done that, you are covered for sales to Germany. You can switch your Germany sales on and you can not worry about eBay shutting you down. You can not worry about fines coming from Germany and you can make some more sales because if I'd have switched off my Germany sales because I didn't want to pay 30 quid, I'd have lost 1,000 and 70 pounds worth of sales to Germany. Okay, there is a train of thought that says if I lost those sales to Germany, those items, there's a fair chance they would have sold either to another country or to the UK. But I got the sales in Germany. I'm taking them sales for the sake of that small amount of percentage. Anyway, that's my update, right? Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this. I mean, let's not go into the ins and outs of whether it's right to charge this Packaging Act fee for a license. We all know it's a bit off. It really is a bit off. But I'm talking about make a comment. Let us know. Did you register? How much did it cost you? What company did you use? How many sales did you get last year via Germany? Go and have a look at your analytics. Go and add up. See if you can add up. I'm sure there's a way you can do it. I kept a manual note. I'd love to hear if it worked out for you. If you switched off Germany sales last year, are you tempted to switch them on this year? Um, anyway, either way, thank you very much for watching or listening. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care and happy sales to Germany.